Yeah. And to pay that much for a box of cereal is kind of exorbitant. What about that 5,000 5, US dollar cognac? You know, that's just stupid, ridiculous. Anyone who wants to pay that is just, there's something wrong with them, or I don't know, they just want to burn money. We find ourselves in a rather noisy place. Pretty freaking loud in here. Yeah. So, um, you were complaining the other day about not being able to buy like good quality sort of Western stuff, especially where you live, right? To call myself out on that, I used to be the guy in the beginning. I was like, if you don't want to live, a, if you want to live a Western lifestyle, why do you come here? And I, I still hold true to that a little bit. But getting nice quality, safe Western imported products here is a bit of a challenge. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, we do like cheese. Who doesn't? Yeah, exactly. Chinese people don't, that's who. A lot of them, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you don't find cheese. Let's go over here, down the escalators. You don't actually find cheese if you go to a, a normal run-of-the-mill supermarket in China. Maybe you'll get those, like, plastic square cheese, you know, like um, that fake processed cheese. I Maybe. still eat it. I yeah. still eat it. Yeah, I eat it too, but I mean, that's, <laughs> that's like the height of your selection if you go to, like, a Rin Rin Le or something, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, the thing is, um, I thought this would be a good opportunity because there's a lot of videos about, you know, we both made about supermarkets here in China. Yeah. But something we'd like to commentate on a little bit is the wealth gap here in China. And you can actually see that probably the, one of the best examples is Chinese supermarkets, right? Because yeah. you have the lowest of the low and you have the highest of the high. So we're going to go start from the top today. Yeah, don't forget, we had our wet market video a while back and it starts with that. That's like bottom of the barrel. You go sure. there, you bargain, you pay like... 20 cents for a cabbage or something, right? So we're going to go to the extreme top today and yeah. we'll work our way down. Correct. So we're actually in the KK Mall, which is now the second tallest building in Shenzhen. Right. Massive, massive big place. And uh, there is a supermarket in here called the BLT supermarket. Bacon, lettuce and tomato. Yeah. So we're going to go take a look and see what it's all about because that's where you can get good imported stuff. Welcome to an expensive Chinese supermarket. Hey, sea milk. I yeah. see it's uh, what? 60 RMB for a six pack of Heineken's. So about 10 bucks for a small, just a small can there. Pretty interesting. Yeah, right there, eh? So we are in the uh, expensive supermarket. Yeah, um, all right. Let's, I'm let's actually surrounded walk. by like $500 wines behind me, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, we're about to get in trouble. Are you ready in three, two, yeah. one? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't okay. worry about this one. Can't take yeah. pictures here. Yeah, keep, no, keep, keep going. I know, keep I am. Going. He, he helped us translate. Let's, let's walk. We're just going to walk through. Don't okay, walk this way. Okay, okay. This is not a camera. Okay. Hold it and go. Okay. Just walk through. Ready? Okay, yeah. So we just got in trouble for filming, as we always do here in Shenzhen. But yeah, it's, um, it's, it's walking around looking at some weird stuff and seeing how much it costs. And one of the things that I noticed that was expensive was cheese. Yeah, cheese is really, My really pricey. My Lord here. Almighty. What but was it like 10 20 bucks for a little slice it's to be expected and that's because it's not something that's in high demand here right so you don't have a lot of demand so you know they can't sell a lot of it so they just kind of bring it in in small quantities and sell it for a very high price how about five dollar cokes yeah it's a bit much <laughs> I mean, just because it's imported right it's an import imported one yeah but i suppose but if you want coke. to be posh and you you find that you're above the local stuff, you know, then why not? How about like nine, eight, nine dollar boxes of cereal that would know, cost right? two, three bucks at home? And that's the kind of thing a lot of Westerners, they really want to, you know, have comfort foods. And cereal's a big thing for Americans. Yeah. And to pay that much for a box of cereal is kind of exorbitant. What about that 5,000 5, US dollar cognac? You know, that's just stupid, ridiculous. Anyone who wants to pay that is just, there's something wrong with them, or I don't know, they just want to burn money. Right. Maybe they've got a bet to see how quickly they can spend <laughs> yeah. money. I like the uh, the South African table wine. Yeah. That was a like, hundred US dollars. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, should we anyway. exit here before we get in trouble? Yeah, we're being followed, so. Some other interesting items that we saw was uh, just a, a really poor cut of steak. Like, one of the worst ones. It wasn't marble, there's no fat in it. No. That was, that was like 12 US dollars, something you'd pay maybe three or four bucks for back home. How about the Doritos? Doritos for five dollars for a small bag. Small bag, yeah. Come on, that's like 99 cents back home, you know? Absolutely. Not advocating eating junk food, by the way, but very interesting to see the price comparisons. That's the thing, though, like everything that's kind of imported or 
Western branded is going to be expensive here. Right. And that's something you have to realize. If you're going to come to China and you want to try live a Western lifestyle, right. you know, eating the same things you do back home, first of all, you have to find a place that sells them. Right. Like these posh supermarkets are not, you just won't find them in a second tier city. No, for sure. And like, you'll, you'll have to forfeit things like haagen ice cream, you know, which yeah. in, in America, maybe a, a half pint, like a little thing is 50 cents to 99 cents, right? Yeah. Here it's like five dollars for like a micro pint, like this tiny little spoonful, I know, you know. It's ridiculous. See, you do. You have to say goodbye to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Unless... Hey. Hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. Instead of getting yelled at, he yeah us. Yeah, that's cool. I anyway, like um, yeah, you have to throw away these kind of luxuries that you get back home. Speaking of yeah. Hagen there's one here, but yeah. if you go up there to get an ice cream cone, you're paying over ten U.S. dollars. I know, isn't it ridiculous? It's crazy, and you make less money here. I know, it's just these <laughs> these little things which you wouldn't know because everybody thinks that China is a cheap place. Right. They have this idea. Oh, in China, you, you come here with a hundred U.S. dollars, you can live like a king or something. Right. But you can't. No, you can't. Not can. if you want good stuff. No, no, for sure. If or you, anything recognizable. Right? Yeah. I mean, you sure you can go to a wet market and buy like a, a trolley. Or you know what do you call it in America? Shopping cart full of vegetables right. for like. The thing is, in America, you could you could buy more vegetables in the supermarket for that price. Have you ever paid that much in your life for a little thing of cherries, by the way? Oh my God, no! Cherries, or, come on! Well, what was those like? It's, raspberries? Yeah, raspberries for like what? Thirty U.S. dollars for a little little it's pint? Absolutely ridiculous. Right. So I mean, this this just goes to show that. If you want to live a good Western style of living in China, it's going to be more expensive than in the West. For sure, and it also highlights something really Let's important. Look around. And that yeah. is that Let's here go. in China, everything that you expect uh, to get back home, like you said, is more expensive, but the people that can afford it here are incredibly wealthy. It's not like people, I think a lot of people watching the video might be like, oh, poor Chinese people, they have to pay this much for this and this and this, but it's only like the top 1%ers that would yeah. ever go to that mall. No, for sure, this, these posh supermarkets even I don't go there very often. No. You know, I mean, I like to live a Western lifestyle as much as I can. Right. You know, I love China. I love Chinese food. I love that. But, you know, being a Westerner, I like to get back to my roots. I got you, you know? eat oatmeal. Yeah. Just, <laughs> Is that what that means? Something along those lines. So, you know, like, I don't go that often because it's just prohibitively expensive. It is. It is. I mean, I can go in there and literally spend 100 US dollars and walk out with a single grocery bag of little stuff. You know what the worst was when they brought uh, Metro to where I, uh, where I live, the small city. Yeah. And uh, I, every time I went there, I would spend like 200 US dollars. And I still spend like 100 or 200 dollars when I go to Walmart right. to buy like really, really crappy stuff, to be honest. Yeah. Because it's just that much price here. But again, this highlights the wealth gap here in China. 99% of people can't afford this. Yeah. And uh, we're in a mall full of those one percenters right now. Correct. And so the next time we do a supermarket video we're going to go to a normal everyday right local you know where all the local kind of people go so show what you can get and the prices there yeah for sure hope you guys liked it like this video and if you want more let us know yeah absolutely we'll see you next on the price is right <laughs> oh yeah sorry is there anything you want to say to our subscribers before we sign off <laughs> whether you like weedabix or crunchy oat brand whatever we just saw yeah uh, i implore you to like comment and subscribe and whether or not you like to spend stupid amounts of money on menial groceries or, you know, you like to go to a big bulk sort of like uh, Costco type place. That's cool. Actually, I like Costco. Me too. Yeah. Free lunch, really. Free anyway, lunch. we love you all the same. So until next time, you know the drill, guys. Stay awesome. That's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, Scotty, right? Yeah. We just ran into the guy that made his own iPhone in the Hong Kong Bay. Yeah. You really must cool. have seen his video, uh, you know, seen his face with his iPhone doing this. Yep. We were, we were very surprised to see <laughs> another, on this side. another Shenzhen based uh, tech kind of yeah. uh, reviewer. That was really, really cool what you did. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you saw our TV show. I did. Yeah. yeah. What would you think? Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. You guys are kind of paving the way for vlogging. And really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Really appreciate it. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time watching your stuff and, and trying to understand sort of what are other people doing here in China. You awesome. guys are totally uh, setting the bar. Thanks. Thanks. How long are you here for? Uh, I've been here, I've been coming and going to Shenzhen for a long time. Okay. And uh, I'll be here for a few weeks longer. I'm working on my next big video now. And nice. I'll have that out in like a week or two more. That's cool. We'll yeah. stay in touch. We'll yeah, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah.